Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. <coughs> Some of the disadvantages of being with the Jamaat al-Ahbash, the Habashia, those people who uh, follow the path and methodology of Abdullah al-Hirari al-Habashi. First and foremost, it goes against the commands of Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. The, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَا أَتَاكُمْ رَسُولُ فَخَذُوهُ وَمَا نَاهَكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتُهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And whatever he commands you with, take it. And whatever the, the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, commands you to do, take it, accept it, follow it. Whatever he prohibits, avoid. When we look to the Ahbash in the West, we see that they do not even face the Qibla of the Muslims. But yet they claim that they are a part of the millions uh, of Muslims and that they represent the correct creed. But when we find them in North America, they face in a different direction than the Qibla. And they change, They want to change the Qibla, which Ahl Qibla has uh, agreed upon. Also, we find many newly innovated aspects of their Aqidah and creed. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu bidatin dalala. All innovation is in the fire. That's the statement of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi. It wasn't my statement. It wasn't the statement of our ulama. Although we follow that because it was from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabi al-kareem. Wa atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul. And follow Allah and follow his messenger. Alayhi afdal salatu wa sallam. And in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, where she says, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ أَحْتَثَ فِي أَمْرِنَا هَذَا مَا لَيْسَ مِنْهُ فُوَ رَدْ وَفِي رُوَايَةٍ لِلْمُسْلِمِ مَنْ عَمَلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فُوَ رَدْ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, which you'll find in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim, whoever innovates in this matter of ours will have it rejected. And in another narration in Muslim, مَنْ عَمَلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فُوَ رَدْ Whoever does something uh, innovates in this matter of ours. Whoever follows, uh, makes an innovation or follows, does an innovated matter, then is rejected. So it lets us know that if we try to change the Qibla, if we take a new path, a new methodology, we take a bay'ah to Tijaniya or to Abdullah al harari or to any of these Sufi paths, we're going against the emir of Allah and we're going against the emir of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The second disadvantage of being with Jamaat al-Ahbash is you'll find confusion. Instead of giving the Sharia, uh, you know, going with a Sharia-based name, they call themselves Jamaat al-Ahbash. They call themselves, they, they yantasibil al-makan. They adhere and to a particular place or to a particular individual. This is Hizbiya at its finest. This is group partisanship at its finest. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, وَكُلُّ هِزْبِ مَا لَدَيْهِمْ فَرَحُونَ that every hizb or every group is with is happy within itself, meaning they rejoice uh, within themselves. Why? Because they've went against the, the the commands of Allah, and they believe that they're the only ones guided. They believe that they're the only ones on the straight path, but yet they rejoice within themselves, even though they're in misguidance. So adhering to a particular leader or a particular sect, and uh, a, a name referring to a nation of people. This is not from Islam. Allah called us Muslims in the Quran. We are also known from the, the scholars, from the scholars in Islam, that they taken from evidence from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the statements of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the tabi'in wa tabi'a tabi'in that we are known as Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. We are known as Ahl Athar. We can also... And, we also call ourselves from the Salaf the Salaf Asali of the first three generations, but we also refer to ourselves as Salafiyun, Ahl Hadith, and 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 those Laqab that are known that come from the evidence or Firqa Tanajia. These come from a Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "La tazal taifatun min ummati zahirin al haq hatta yatihum amr Allah wa hum ala dalek o kama qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam." The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. There won't cease to be a group from my nation that is on the truth. And even if the people be, try to hurt, لا يضرهم ولا خذلهم And even if the people try to harm them, they won't be able to hurt them. 
or if they try to deceive them or trick them or go against them, they won't have any success until the day of judgment. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, that Taifa Mansura, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that that we know from the ahadith, they're also known as Taifa the Mansura. This is Ahl Sunnah. These are names that are taken from the Sharia text, not names taken from a place or a particular individual here or there. The third thing is uh, as a disadvantage of being with Jamaat al Ahbash is if you adhere to a group or sect like this, then you are a cause for the dissension, a cause for the division amongst the Muslims, the main body of, of Muslims, and a cause of sectarianism and all the ills related to that, meaning the splitting, the killing, the enmity, making takfir of one another, meaning considering one another to be non-Muslims, and also the extremist behavior of, of uh, you know, of people who do extreme things which are outside of the fold of Islam, or extreme things which are outside the fold of the Sharia in general, or going beyond the bounds of the Islamic Sharia that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has perfected, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم و... و- رديت لكم إسلام دينا. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, This day I perfected for you your religion. And and have chosen Islam as your religion. And have pleased with you, uh, or, and pleased with you as, relig- as, as Islam is for your religion. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let us know that we become weak when we're divided. But he also prophesied, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we would divide. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, If tarakat al-yahud ala ifta wa sabayin farqa. وَاَفْتَرَكَتَ النَّصَارَ عَلَى اثْنَتَيْنْ وَسَبَعِينْ فَرْقَ وَسَتَفْتَرِكُ هَذِهِ أُمَّ عَلَى ثَلَاثَ وَسَبَعِينْ فَرْقَ كُلُّهَا فِي النَّارَ الْوَاهِدَةِ كُلَّ مَنْ هِيَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قال صلى الله عليه وسلم مَنْ كَانَ عَلَى مِثْلِ وَمَا كَانَ عَلَيْهِ وَأَصْحَابِ الْيَوْمِ وَكَمَا قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في مجموع طرق that there's many different narrations of this hadith and the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said if تركت اليهود على إثنتين وسبعين فرقة that the Jews would break into seventy one sects and the Christians would break into seventy two sects and my ummah would break into seventy three sects all of them in the fire except one that's what the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said so it's not Islam is not so broad that we can just follow this guy this imam this alama this uh, murid this Sufi sheikh this O person who's from the Oliya or that we consider that they're from the Oliya that's not what Islam teaches us Islam teaches us that yes we would break into sex and group but that is not something that's pleasing to Allah but however Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that that is something that would happen that we would break into groups and sects and all of them will be in the fire except one and then the, the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in asked who are they ya Rasulullah and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said those who follow my sunnah and the sunnah of, uh, of, uh, of, of my companions. That's what the Prophet ﷺ said. He said that the Sabila Najah was not following Abdullah al Hariri, not following Abu Musa al Ashari, uh, 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 not following Abu Hassan al Ashari. Abu Musa al Ashari was a Sahabi, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, uh, and may Allah be pleased upon. With all the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. But however, it wasn't a new, it wasn't being uh, uh, one of the Khawarij. It wasn't being from the Qadariya. It wasn't being from the Mu'tazila. It wasn't being from the Jahmiya. It wasn't being from the uh, Asha'ida. It wasn't being from this group or this sect or this Sufi tariq. No, it was being, it's being upon. If you want to be saved, then you have to follow the Quran. And you have to follow the authentic sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, And you have to follow the companions of the Prophet wasallam, radiallahu ta'ala and ajma'in. And how they understood the religion. Did they affirm the names and attributes of Allah as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed? And as the Prophet wasallam, affirmed in his authentic sunnah? Of course, yes, is the answer. But do we do that? Or do we say, no, 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 it means this. Allah says he rose above his throne, but we say it means this. We want to change the meaning to mean this, to fit our desire, to fit our way, to fit our methodology, to fit what our imam says. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us a prescription for all of this dissension. He said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al mahdiyin. Adu alayha bin nawadij wa iyyakum wa muftadar al amur. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati. It is upon you my sunnah. And the sunnah of the rightly guided uh, Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. That's our prescription. That's our prescription in creed. 
That's our prescription for the, the dissension and division in manners. That's our prescription for dissension uh, even in the Kibla. That's our, our, our prescription for the ills in, in all these various types of worship. Those things, did the Prophet ﷺ celebrate his birthday? Did the Sahaba anhu, celebrate their birthday? Uh, celebrate the Prophet ﷺ's birthday? Did the Tabi'een celebrate the Prophet ﷺ's birthday? Tell me. Bring me hatu barhanukum in kuntum sadiqim. Bring your proofs if you're being truthful. Or were these things that came about later? Were these things that came about later, after the three generations? Radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een. After the tariq of the salaf al-salih. Khalas, the is- Islam is perfect. We don't need to add. We don't need to subtract. We don't need to follow this man, or this man, or that man, or that woman. But rather we need to follow kitab Allah wa sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in every aspect of our life for our success. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that I said was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.